<laughs> Guys, so this just looks like a normal alleyway to you But actually the street leads to the hottest place in Seoul which is Iksandong And it's a little less crowded and less touristy But this place is like a very local area with a little bit of Hanok houses Like traditional Korean houses mixed together You'll see a lit, like a lot of little cafes everywhere um, very actually newly all made and like very hip restaurants. So let's go! So this is like the central area for Iksandu where you'll see more cafes, all different kinds of types all different kinds of types? all different types of cafes, right? Mm. or all different kinds Hands. of cafes so you'll see more like traditional ones serving traditional Korean tea and Korean traditional tea <laughs> traditional Korean tea <laughs> So this is sort of like the cafe kind of things you would see on this street. I thought this pl place was a cafe, but it was actually an olive shop. Homemade olives. So I'm gonna get one. Nicely wrapped for just the olives. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I paid for the wrapping paper. <laughs> Beautifully wrapped olives that I'm gonna enjoy at home with my baguette. But that's so strange. I thought it was like a cafe, but they sell only homemade olives. Let's go. This is a shoe shop made in a Korean traditional house. So I think they renovated a Korean traditional house and made a shoe store here. But it's so much nicer than just the modern building. So this shoe store is like shoe store plus cafe in a Korean traditional house. It's like awesome, but the terrace looks even better. I really want this to be my house. Let's go. Whoa. This is such a nice place. Look. <gasps> Look. Oh my god. <gasps> this is so pretty. What is kiwa called? Like burnt, uh, baked clay. And they have this kind of like. I feel like an architecture teacher today, and I have nothing. I don't know anything about architecture. But look, those are sort of the renovated modern Korean. awesome the rooftop view here um, I just came into this shoe store because it looked pretty fancy but I never knew they had like a terrace on top but the rooftop view literally is a rooftop view <laughs> and look at these beautiful rooftops so I don't know where I'm going I'm super hungry it's like 2 p.m. right now <laughs> I'm gonna draw a watch here. It's like 2 p.m. right now. I'm super hungry. I was gonna go to this restaurant where it's just Korean food, like Korean home food. And since I don't have anyone to cook for me, I wanna go and have mom made home food. So I really wanna go there. Sort of lost my way. So we went all the way round and round to find this restaurant and then found out it was right behind that olive shop that where I bought this olive. So I'm so hungry, let's go eat. Korean home food. So we also ordered 
yuda makgeolli on the side, which is rice wine, but rice wine mixed with citron, like yuda. And look, they gave us rice wine and then yuda on the bottom, like citron. So I'm gonna mix it so it mixes well and it's gonna have like a sweet citrus, citrusy kind of flavor. It's really fresh and it has sort of like a um, carbonated water kind of taste. So it's sort of like carbonated water that's a bit sweet and citrus at the same time. I really like it actually. It's very light to drink for lunch. Oh. Look, I got mine. Mine is like kang denjang jjigae with suyu and rice. Suyuk is like you wrap all kinds of kimchi with pork and you have soy. This looks so good, dude. This is soybean paste soup. And I get to like mix the rice and the salad together. Get a piece of meat and then you put suyuk on it. I mean, not suyuk on it. Kinds of kimchi, eat it together. This one, you mix the tofu with the rice and the salad. They put bits of shiitake mushroom in it. This is lentil curry and chicken curry, chicken mango curry. But I think it's like a fusion because Korean curry is pretty sweet and thick. So they made it sort of Korean style curry. But this place is really cheap because it's only like six or seven dollars a dish. Nice milk for lunch. That was really cheap. So we had a really good meal in there and it suddenly started raining. Tourists ended here. No more videos for today, but next time I'm uh, gonna make an Iksondo cafe video because I know there are super nice cafes here selling Korean traditional tea and there aren't any Korean traditional coffee. But yeah, so next time I'll be taking that video, so stay tuned. And if you guys like this video, thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye!